Main event time, we have got Bilal, remember the name, Muhammad challenging Leon Edwards, potential title implications on the line here. And uh, these guys are both grinders. So we've got a high total. We've got the total set at four and a half. The over four and a half is minus 210. The under four and a half is plus 170. And Believe it or not, it looks like money is coming in here on the under, which is a little bit surprising. Both these guys, all they ever do is go to decisions. Grind, 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 grind. They're both solid wrestlers. They're both point-fighting strikers. They've got good, solid technical boxing, good footwork on the feet, but neither of them are ever really looking for the finish. Uh, Leon Edwards has nice elbows. He does a step-in elbow that's good when he ground and pounds people. He slices them up and cuts them open with his elbows, but uh, he's not really much of a power hitter. You know what I mean? These guys are not looking for the knockout. They're just looking to do what they've got to do to get the win. Now, Bilal Muhammad making a quick turnaround for a five-round fight. That gives me a little bit of pause. I do have some questions there. Bilal Muhammad has been knocked out in the past before. And if Leon Edwards is able to just overpower him, outmuscle him, and uh, keep him on the back foot for the entire fight, I could absolutely see a late TKO type of victory. But I gotta say over. I gotta say over. There's nothing but evidence that these guys are going all 15 with the way they've fought previously. Over. Four and a half, minus 210, lean, not an official pick. Again, definitely not betting that one because I can see the path to victory for Leon by knockout, but uh, both guys absolutely do not help our total because of how dang durable they are. 